<laughs> My name is Adam Monaco. I play the bass for Sheep. I'm the cellist. <laughs> and I play French horn for Sheep. <laughs> and occasionally we both play drums. Yeah, occasionally. Every once in a while. My name's Dan. And I am the Black Sheep. And I sing with, uh, with, with the group, yeah. My name is Rick Sabatini. Do you have a middle name? No middle name. No middle name. Yeah. Look over here. You sure I should look there? I shouldn't look over here? Uh, no, look at me, look at me. All right. You think yeah. so? No, yeah. I think it looked better at the camera, don't you think? I think it, it changes his energy. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep all that. Baby, it's been a long while since I got to do with you. At a restaurant now. Parties. I mean, right. whenever we play, just try to have the best time possible and try to make sure everyone in the room is having the best time possible. And so, isn't like college kind of where people are looking to have a good time? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Do you think the music is geared? Do you think there's an aspect <laughs> of the music that's really, um, that would really resonate with, with kids in college? You know, it's hard, to, it's hard to really, it's hard for me to say necessarily exactly what college students want. All I can say, the music that we make is extremely honest, it's very genuine, we're having a good time, and it's real. I mean, we are truly in love with being alive, and in love with our music, and we love being us, you know? We love sheep. I love this. Like, I, I want to do this until I'm dead. I, I don't care, you know? It's, this is my favorite thing in the world. Buried in the sheep suit? <laughs> and I will be buried in the sheep suit. What can make me feel this way? I'm talking my girl, my girl, my girl Talking about my girl, my girl Talking about my girl Drummer in a band. It's pretty interesting because we're not double set, so uh, we're not on top of each other, we're not duplicating a lot of beats. I've really come to terms with the fact that I'm a classic rock drummer, that like everything I do was probably done before in the 70s, between like probably 1968 through 1976 exactly. Ginger Baker. Yeah, a lot of that, a lot of Steve Gadd, a lot of um, Liberty DeVito, like Billy Joel's drummer and all that, kind of like placing things just there. And so I'm doing that and then Omar will either come in with like a hip hop beat or a lot of weird sounds on top of it and it's cool because I don't have to worry that much about um, doing too much in the arrangement because if I'm holding it down then there's other stuff going on on top of it and then I get to do the opposite you know when Omar's on kit he's really filling it out you know he's 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 really holding that down <laughs> They're basically their own band. They, they're kind of a sub band inside the band. I mean, they, they really, I mean, they, they do, they work out all this stuff together. Yeah, we wear sheep suits. Wow. It's it's a lot more fun. I mean, it's way more fun that way. I mean, it gets it gets people so excited 
it's crazy. People, it's just because we're doing the sheep suits, they want to stop and listen to us. If they come in and they watch us, they're not going to leave. I mean, and it's not that we do it for attention. We really do it for ourselves. We do it because it's a really fun way to play music and have a party. It's cool, you know, we, we have two lead singers in a way. We have two band leaders. And it's something, I, I've never done this before with anyone else, but it's, it, we'll, we'll have shows sometimes where I, I can actually kind of back off a little and let Dan take more of that performer role. Because being a lead singer, it's not an easy thing. You have to write the song, you have to lead the band, but you also have to be the, you're the front person for the crowd. So to have both of us together, no one person is ever fully leading everything. So because it allows so much more fluidity and so much more creativity, in my opinion, to have that set up. And, um, I mean, obviously you gotta do it with somebody you can trust, you know? So you're not stepping on each other's toes, but I think it works really well. It's black and white sheep, it's perfect. <laughs> perfect. If you want to, we'll have a good life. I'll be your nice wife. I'll be your good man. Always understand. I'll cook you breakfast when you're sleeping in Colleen. When you're sleeping in Colleen. Colleen, I might not be your man right now, but someday I will. Everyone is a character. Like, every individual in the band is so unique and different and special that it, it really comes together as one when we're all together. It's, it's like one cohesive strangeness, um, which is really awesome. I don't even know if that makes any sense, but it does to me. Um, really, really fun guys, and uh, I'm excited to, you know, lock ourselves in a van and and wander around <laughs> and uh, and go play music and I think we're, we're really gonna every show that we do even on shows where I think we maybe we didn't even do that great people are just leaving going that was amazing that was so fun and uh, you know I, sometimes I'm forgetting my bass lines and like it, I don't even know if it matters like it's it's because it's all of us together have this kind of thing that comes out into the audience and and people are feeling us so uh, I know that it I know that there's magic I know that there's a, a big plan for what we're doing as a band I love you man oh, I love you too my name's Matt Fisher I'm an audio engineer for sheep I've been working with the guys for probably about six months now working on the sheep EP. And it's my first legitimate gig really recording musicians of this stature. Honestly, I think not only are they awesome people and really cool individuals, but they're also extremely talented musicians. And as a musician myself, that's really been one of the greatest things about getting to work with them is coming into the studio every day and leaving inspired. I can't think of a single time that I've been around any of them that they haven't pushed me creatively as well as just giving me a great time. Baby, you
relax, I got my tax return. Girl, let's go out, I got some cash to burn. We're gonna buy somewhere real nice to eat. The government paid me real good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>